What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is I, Zanox, bring you some more Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross PvP action. Action. Okay, so we are trying out our new team. I actually uh, finished it this morning after the reset. Uh, I got uh, Twiggy. T Twiggle. Twiggy? Whatever his name is. Buff bitch from the beginning. I uh, leveled up to 75. It wasn't very difficult. Um, in fact, when everybody turns to level 80 tonight, this is going to be the team that I level up to 80 immediately, uh, rather than like Escanor and everything else. Um, it's going to be these four and then King as my priority to level up. Um, tonight, I wanted to test a couple different foods. As you can see, I have a couple left. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is attack food. Now, so what, I, what I've discovered with this team is with the gear I currently have, it just, and the bonds, I'm just going to call them bonds, with the ultimate levels I currently have, which is level 1 from left to right, level 1, level 6, level 3, level 6. Uh, this is the highest I can get, which means I am more likely to go second than I am to go first. So... What that means is I am just going to give up on going first and instead do as much damage going second. I've actually won the majority of my matches going first, or going second on this team. Crazily enough. So let's see what happens. Uh, running up on a Escanor team, which I was using earlier, and because I'm going first anyway, uh, it all works out. I'm actually going to alt rush. No, I'm not. Hmm. Uh. I, I'm still going to do this, and I'm going to lock out healing for a little bit. Boom! Boom! I don't get how sometimes I st start with one um, one orb, and sometimes I don't. I don't really get it, to be honest. Um, so this next turn, I think I'm going to skip going for the uh, the Arthur buff. Oh, perfect. Well, that makes my choices super easy. Um, I I was gonna like. Hmm. I'll do this. I wasn't gonna do this, but I'm gonna do this now. I was gonna skip going for the level three of King or uh, of Arthur, but <laughs> um, he gave me the perfect, you know. Uh, excuse to go for uh, holding on to it. So, I'm just going to hold on to it. And second thought, I'm going to actually buff up this turn. I'm going to continue to keep him from healing. Alright, 20% extra stats. And a major hit here. Hopefully reset some ultimates. Uh, I guess not. And that's okay. I'm gonna just outright kill King. Good. No more heals. Um, oh. Arthur has his ult. So does Escanor. Oof. Who's he gonna kill? That's a good question. Who is Escanor going to kill? If it's not Hauser, he's making a mistake. <laughs> um. Okay, so he's gonna go for... For Gother. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, means I can't lock down Hauser, but that's okay. Uh, I think the right call is to eliminate Hauser here and get rid of him. Make sure he can't be a problem any longer. So I'm gonna eliminate Hauser, um, and then I'm gonna go for. For us anymore. Uh, next turn, I can cleave pretty hard. Eskinor shouldn't take very much with a triple red team. Yeah, next turn he's dead no matter what I do. Um, and I got the single target. 
uh, twiggle attack. Uh, see, this doesn't help you because it only helps for one turn. Boom. He should have buffed himself because uh, I'm just going to straight up kill him. Like right now. And I will do this. This should kill Eskinor 100% of the time. Yeah. Consistent 57. Oh, wow. Wow. It killed Arthur, too. See, I love... I am loving this team. Uh, I kind of wish I had something better than... Than, uh... Twigglefuck over there. Tiddlywinks, whatever you want to call them. Uh, to put in that spot. But 30% for red units is... Absolutely... Fantastic. Um, oh, shit. I didn't put on a buff... Give me one second. Okay, I apologize about that. I really wish they would um, not give you the option to cancel search. Or I'll be like, hey, you forgot a food buff. And then remind you that you forgot a food buff. Because it's, it's pretty dumb. Because it's it's pretty dumb that you can hop in the PvP without a food buff, and then not be able to cancel your search. Um, granted, I probably still could have won without the food buff, or it would have just been a loss. But my goal is to win as much as possible. So let's um, let's get back to it, PvP. So that was just a slight delay. Just a slight delay. Alright. Um, cool. It didn't take away one of my things. I tried an attack, which turned out pretty good. Uh, and still gave me some CC. I'm going to try a pierce right now. Uh, my Hauser almost has max uh, pierce rate on... On his armor set. So that means that with this extra pierce rate, let's see here. I'm at 29 point something and then 29 point something plus an extra 20%. So if we take the bases or just max it out 30, 30 plus 20. So I'm at 80% pierce rate. Is that right? If I just, you know, round up to 30. Um, so I think this turn I'm going to, because he's going to rush, um, go through all, it looks like. So turn two is where you get the, um, the extra orb from. Interesting. Uh, well that sucks. Because the plan was to do things. But I guess I'll do this instead. I could rush King Alt. Anyway, anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm going to make sure he can't heal. Um, I'm going to take this King, uh, this uh, Gother Alt on the chin. And then I want to see what kind of damage um, Hauser... Cyclone does. Rising Storm. Given that it has an additional three times pierce rate. Ow. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop doing the thing that you're doing. That hurts a lot. Uh, so, we're just going to do this. Um, ah. It doesn't actually do that much more. Uh, the important thing is that he can't um, attack me, I guess, and he can't heal. So it really depends on how this turn goes. If he kills Arthur, it might actually be good for me. Uh, we'll see, though. Resetting the ult is fine. He gives me an extra card. Um... Good thing I didn't buff because he would just reset it here anyway. Kingbrum is still a problem. 
Uh, I've beaten King Broom teams before, but it, it, it isn't easy with this team. It really isn't. You need perfect cards. Okay, he's going to lock down Gother. That's fine. So he can attack and he can heal again. Uh, and I got Tiddlywinks out. Um, we're going to do this and this and this. And probably die here, but that's okay. Oh, maybe this will kill. It does kill. He left Hauser alive, and now he has a problem. Let's see here. Uh, what is he going to do? More than likely, he's going to lock down my attack. If he does, I'm in trouble. Um, yeah, I'm in trouble. And he's going to kill. Uh, I'm in a lot of trouble here. Because um, I can't actually do anything. So I guess I'll do this. And I'll do this. And I will pray that he doesn't kill Hauser. Let's see what he does. Uh, he's going to lock it down. Yeah, he's going to kill Hauser here. Yeah, Hauser died. Mm. This sucks. And he's going to reshield. Not fun. Oh, I can't actually do anything. Okay, well, that's a loss. That's okay. No, I'm good. Damn. So close to plot three. Again, I almost grabbed the wrong thing. Uh... Combat class food. This one I know works. We'll see how it does. And then I'm going to try health food as the last, like, test for what was most effective. Uh, granted, I'm facing different teams every time, so it's not a great um, show. But we'll see. Uh, the Escanor team again. And I am just slightly above. Okay, so... I can't get a Hauser ult, but I can still do a ton of damage here. Uh, I'm actually just going to do this. Lock down the healing. And then... Do... This. Because I hate Rising Storm, or Super Cyclone, whatever which one this one is. Okay, so no heals for this turn. Uh, it all depends on what he wants to do here. Okay, apparently going to get an Arthur, uh, level 3. So this next turn I can get... Both of Arthur cards level 3. If he petrifies here, I'll be a real sad boy. Okay, so he's going to get the Gothralt. And he is going to lock down my, my Arthur. That's fine. It makes me a real sad boy, but that's fine. Um, so... I'm just going to super cycle the fuck out of him, then. Yeah. A nice hefty damage. I'm going to take, uh, take a bunch of damage here. Ooh. Ooh. Another Rising Storm. Do I keep calling it Super Cyclone? I probably do. Okay, so that's one attack. Done. Boom. I probably sh still should have used the Gother attack. He's going to full heal. That's fine. Lock me down? Yeah. That's also fine. Uh, because I'm going to do this. And then this. And then this. So 
So, I'm gonna survive this a little bit better. I might not survive this at all, to be honest. Because uh, King Alt hurts a lot. King Alt hurts a lot. And I am at type disadvantage. So I'll have to see what he does. He could also remove the buff from somebody here. That's two cards. He's going to try to kill Hauser. Yeah. He's going for the kill on Hauser because he knows how much of a threat Hauser is. Oh, and he didn't kill. Which means I get to do a ton of damage. I love doing damage. I might actually... Uh, if I had a second... Um, uh, Rising Storm, I would have killed Gother. So, he could petrify, but that really doesn't hurt me that much. Um, I could go for another king. Or, uh, fuck, Arthur. I keep calling him king because he's King Arthur. Okay, so here comes the Petrify. Yep, that's understandable. Um, and he's going for a shield. I feel it is in my best interest to re-up on my buff now that he can't actually remove it. So I'll do that. Boom, boom. To think I could have gotten an ult off if I already had him... At a uh, level 2 uh, buff. It's okay. Because he, he he can roll back the the attack there. But it doesn't actually help him much. Uh, because I'm just going to use Gother. Yeah, as long as he doesn't kill Hauser here. He might kill Hauser here. He's going for the heal. Interesting. That's very interesting. Uh, so I'm just going to do this, and I'm just going to do a shit ton of damage. It's not going to kill King. It did, however, come really close to killing both. Um, do I survive this? Can I still win this? King, no, Arthur might survive. I might have played this wrong by killing, not killing off King, which is a mistake I make very often, where I think that King on his own probably can't do it. Oh, I do survive this. So no matter what, I still win. Yeah, no matter what, I win. Because I'm going to do this. He's about to surrender, I think. Because I can do this. And then this. And then this. And he can't really stop me. Man, that Arthur buff is real strong. <laughs> Getting that Arthur buff is incredibly good. So really, this team wants to go second so that I can rush an ult. Um, or wants to go first and then do a shit ton of damage. That's really the only two options. Uh, let's do one more. I, I know I have two, but I'm going to do one. Uh, let's try heal. Actually, we can do two. Because I can try the old rush. I can try old rush food and see how that works. Uh, all right, let's do it. I'm going to pause real quick. Okay. Match finally started. It is uh, the team I was running before. Uh, I can actually... Ooh, that's really good. So I can do this. I can lock down Hauser. And then I can lock down Healing. In the long run, it doesn't really do anything. It just delays... But, 
Look at that. Look at all that. It's very annoying. Um, so I can actually upgrade Hauser and then get the Arthur buff here. Um, that's fine. He can do that. That doesn't hurt me much. Uh, all right. So upgrade Hauser. Do this. Buff. Perfect. This is a really, really strong to a ga start to a game. Now, he can just heal and, like, remove that. But what he can't do is... Well, he could fireball, I guess, and remove the uh, the buffs and then petrify somebody if he really, really wanted to. Which he didn't do. Yeah, he went for the heal. Um, yeah, he's not doing any damage to Gother. Gother has my HP and defense set, so he's really not going to do a, a, a ton. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have another Arthur card. If I did, I would be a very happy person, but I don't. And really, I, I should have upgraded Gother there so that I can get the the team-wide upgrade, but... Really, it doesn't, it doesn't matter that much. Um, he can heal here. The heal will be helpful. The heal will help him quite a bit. Um, but it it won't save him. I'm in a very commanding position. I'm going to use Arthur attack on probably Hauser. And then I'm just going to use two Hauser attacks. Um... Yeah, I'm just going to do two of these. I could force him to use another heal. Um, I also could have used... It doesn't matter. Arthur dies. I could have disabled healing and then done one of those two. Like, upgrade, disable healing thing. But this is more effective, to, in my opinion. I'm having trouble, like, collecting my thoughts, which is why I'm, like, stuttering so much tonight. Uh, so we'll do that, that, and, uh, one of these. Why not? I really don't like using the Gother upgrade level 2 unless I have another upgrade level 1 in my hand. But this game is a wrap anyway. Uh, Arthur on his own can't kill four people. Uh, not easily anyway. <laughs> uh, or likely. <laughs> He'd have to somehow get a level 3 buff up, and... Then a couple other things. It's it's just not likely to happen. So we'll do this. What I should have done here is made sure that Hauser got his ult. Oh no, he did get his ult. Cool. So I was pretty sure I was one off. Um, he's just gonna keep aiming for go through, and it's not gonna get him anywhere. I'm gonna remove his ult. Do this, and then do this. I also could have buffed, but it's whatever. This is the end. Goodbye. Boom, boom. Cool. So, let's try the old rush food and see how that works with this. Um, we'll see how that works. Elite. I mean, I have the food available. It's going to suck that I'm going to lose the, um, the thing. I also could have used defense food, I guess. Tried that out, but yeah, that's less likely to be helpful. Um, again, I kind of want to go second with this team. Check my text real quick. Okay, opponent found. 10 or 13 is really good. I've only lost three matches. Which is really, really strong. Um, which just shows you the power of this team. And we're not even level 80 yet. Though level 80 might change things slightly because of how powerful King is just in general. Um, okay, so I'm going to be able to get Arthur all immediately. 
just by locking down the healing. Fuse, heal, and I can still upgrade, I think. Yeah. So I'm going to go for the upgrade, and then I'm going to go for the um, r removal of healing. Uh, he's going to focus down Gother. That is probably the right call, except for how healthy my Gother is. Um, and we are, unfortunately, not able to get Arthur uh, buff. But that's okay. If I get another Gother card, I'll be in a good spot. But for now, I can just remove his ability to heal and go from there. Um, his right call would be to petrify... Um, but if he does, I have a backup plan of just using lots and lots of cleave. It doesn't look like he's going to go for the Petrify. Interesting. Uh, he's just going to straight up kill Gother. That is probably the right move. Uh, I, however, am going to... Uh, I... Hmm... I can't let Eskinor ult. I can't let him live. As problematic as problematic as King is, um, I can't let him ult. So King still can't heal until the end of this turn, uh, and I can stop him from healing. Again. Um, him getting an ult sucks, but I can't can't really stop it. Uh, yeah, now he's going to aim for Hauser. That's the right call. Oh, wow. He's actually just going to stop Hauser completely. Um, that is the right call, but it just sucks for me. So we're going to do this. We're going to use the Hauser thing anyway. And then do this to keep him from healing, just in case he survives this. And he's not going to survive that. Okay. So, now he only has two people. Uh, unfortunately, it is a Hauser and um, and an Arthur. Uh, he's going to reset Twiggle's ult. Uh, but he is going to give me a, an Arthur buff level 2. Um, so that's good. Buff resets, right? Yeah, buff reset. Um, which means I'm going to do this. And I'm going to start going for Arthur. Wait, who has the lower defense? Uh, 6, 9, 3, 7. Okay. So he has the higher defense but the less health. No, he has the lesser defense, but the higher health. So I'm going to go for him. Uh, Twiggle's going to have his ult. I keep calling him Twiggle. I'm pretty sure that's not his name. But it doesn't matter what his name is. Does this On all enemies. Nice. Uh, is he going to kill Arthur? No. Cool. So uh, I'm going to hit him with, with this. And then with this. If Arthur survives this next turn... He gets his ult next. Um, you know, that hits surprisingly hard. Um, I doubt that he's going to let uh, Tiddlywinks live. But I've been wrong before. I've been wrong before. Oh, no. He dies. Shit. Um, this is a problem where I probably don't survive. Uh, how much health does he have? 28k? If this kills Arthur, I have a chance. It, it does. Okay, I now have a chance. It's not a good chance. Nah. It's not a good chance, but it was a chance. Um, 
that sucks. I let Hauser live too long. I let uh, King live too long. It it just it was just bad all around. Um, but that's okay. I made it to plat three and then I fell, so I'll get there again. Um, all right, guys, that that's gonna be it. Nice long video for you guys, huh? Thank you all for watching, and I'll check you all next time. Peace.